Trade war, tariffs, what does it all mean? What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. And of course, the big story today is the, the tariffs and the, and the trade wars and what's going on. And, and again, I personally think it's about time that somebody stepped up and said, hey, we're tired of getting taken advantage of and we're going to do it our way because we are the most powerful nation in the world. So I believe that this is the right course of action and we'll take it from there. That's, that's my opinion. I think the markets are tending to agree with that right now. As you see, we had a wild day on the street up big early, down late in midday, and then back up again late in the day. So we're, we're seeing a lot of action, a lot of uncertainty. And this is, again, very, very uh, in, in indicative of a market that is building a top. We're getting these wild swings back and forth. In the meantime, volatility was down. The VIX index was down. Oil down. Gold down. Bonds up. So you're seeing a lot of things that, that make sense. And of course, the dollar made a dramatic move, which is one of our key things we're watching. As you saw, the, the euro currency, the ECB did not do anything with their interest rates today. The euro currency exploded up and then fell apart. So it had a key reversal in the euro currency, which means even more power for the dollar. And I think, again, if this continues and if we can break the dollar above that 91 level, then we're probably going to see some heavy selling in the markets. This would create a interest rate deal and this would it would raise the would hike the rates for the foreign borrowers so i think that could create some issues as we're going forward and in the meantime uh the usda reported today the uh, on the grains and it was a relatively neutral report but corn did pop so uh, wheat was a little bit unchanged a little bit higher and soybeans were down a little bit but really a muted response except for corn which popped uh meats broke pretty hard uh especially cattle but hogs broke hard and then came back to about the unchanged level the overall picture is the same. It's murky, and, and most markets, most major markets, are in a consolidation phase, and they're going to break out one way or the other. And again, I would think that the equities are going to break to the downside. I would think that the dollar is going to break to the upside. Gold is, is too tough to call, but I would think that if the dollar gets this big spike, gold is going to break to the downside. I think oil is breaking to the downside. I look for oil to get to 58. So again, we've got a lot of things going on here that are, are making the, the situation very murky, but at the end, Again, we're seeing that there's some, some turbulence around, and of course, a lot is being centered around the trade tariffs and around the possible trade war, but I think it's really more has to do with the market, and we'll see what goes on from there. In the meantime, we've got the jobs number tomorrow, and we'll see what, what that brings. Now, if the jobs are good again, as they're predicting, then you could see uh, a big sell-off tomorrow. Because, again, you've got everybody still trying to play the cheap interest rate because the Fed remains dovish. Now, again, the Fed is going to be at the center of this black swan event. You can bet on it, and we'll see how it trades out. But in the meantime, we want to be very careful here. We, we need to get a, a confirmation that we're breaking to the downside or that we're breaking to the upside. Again, I think that you want to right now, you look to sell up at the upper end of resistance, and you look to potentially buy at the bottom. I'm personally not a buyer. I'm looking for a spot to sell. I'm looking for it to break to the downside. But in the meantime... Right now, we're trading this big, wide range, so let's just keep an eye on that. And in the meantime, uh, you know, the, with the jobs and everything else, we'll see how it all plays out. But we're getting ready, and we're going into a triple witching cycle at expiration. So there's a lot of things happening that can push these markets either way. So it's really a great spot to observe. Wait for your levels. Be patient. Wait for the upper level if you want to sell. Wait for the lower level if you want to buy. In the meantime... You want to focus on the footprint that the market's leaving. And that's the way I see it. This is Bubba's Daily Update, and we'll see you back here over the weekend. In the meantime, don't forget highschoolinvesting.com. If you want to help us out, you go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. And also, don't forget to get the Bubba Show every single day at 4 to 5 Eastern Time at libertytalk.fm. In the meantime, everybody have a great day. Enjoy the college basketball if you're a fan. A lot of tournament games going on. And we'll see you over the weekend. And then we'll see you again with Bubba's Daily Update on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you so much, and uh, be careful out there. We'll see you later.